Hi, welcome to Brainy Buzz. This is Premada, and we are going through the HTML5 tutorials. So let's see the Web SQL database. Like it is basically used to manipulate the client-side database using SQL. Uh, before this particular uh, tutorial, you should have the basic knowledge of SQL. After that only you will be able to complete this tutorial. So let's see first of all we want to open the database. Open database method is basically used to open an already created database or if the database is not created it will first create the database and then open it. So this will be our uh, syntax. Supposingly I have a variable db or a database you can say dbase something equal to open database first of all you have to give the database name that you want to open after that the version then the description and then db size and then callback so supposingly sample db you give after that the version or demo db is the description and the size over here so if your sample db is crea already created then it will be referred to this in this variable otherwise your sample db will be created and then a reference will be given to this dbase variable after that we get the queries so database tr dot transaction function is used to basically execute the queries i have written a dbase dot transaction then function here you will say the query or some string some value you give and then dot execute sql will be the method and in this you write the queries like if you want to create the table if it does not exist like create table if not exist contacts will be the name of the table like people who have the knowledge of sql query they can write it and here you can give the column names so this will be like create table if not exist contacts and then column names we have only two columns in this table after that insert operation this is basically used to insert the values in the table so this operation will be used to enter the values in the table like dbase dot transaction then query dot execute sql insert into this will be the table name and the sequence of the column name should be same as the value name then values so lily will be gone to name and then this number will be go will be assigned to phone so again that means you have inserted one row in your database that is the value will have lily and your phone number in that so just remember to place the column names in the same sequence as you have the values in that another thing like you have entered the values in your database but you also want to read it so read operation will be used to read the records so for this we have um, another query like uh, select star from contacts then um, function query values like you write um, val length first of all you want to take how many rows are there present in the contacts table after that you want to display the message like found rows this many number of rows you have found then you give the query selector because uh, it's like you want to write somewhere in your web page so it's like you can use the document dot uh, like inner html then what you do you just write a loop over here like supposingly value dot rows dot items dot log so this uh, this is the way your values will be printed on the document so this was basically a sql how to read the values from the list how to insert the values how to create a table and how to create a database so this was your sql tutorial thanks and have a nice day